All right, let's rock and roll. We're going to get in this chapter from my book entitled uh, Fuck a Fertility Kit, right? Fuck a Fertility Kit. Make sure you go get my book, Woman. It's been out for about three months. We're going to go ahead and try to run through this and make this a real sharp one tonight. Many women force pregnancy. Huh? They inquire about kits to get pregnant. This, this whole chapter going to be metaphysical. Don't take it literal. Girl, you got a kid that can help me get pregnant? Girl, is there a ritual that you can do to get me pregnant? They want to go to the hospitals and they want to, yeah, doing all, doing all these different things to get pregnant because they want to force the pregnancy. She's with the wrong man, but she's trying to force the pregnancy. She's trying to figure out why she can't get pregnant, but her ancestors are saying, baby, we can't get you pregnant. We ain't let him get you pregnant. He ain't worried of it. He come from a bad stock. He's an evil stud. Them kids gonna be Damien's. Them kids gonna come out and torment you. Them kids gonna come out and be drug dealers. Them kids gonna come out and be bad. We can't let him get in this family. We are gonna close your womb. We are gonna close your yanni. We not letting you get pregnant for him. But you out here because he got a spell on you. And you out here trying to find, you trying to find everything that you can do to get pregnant for him. Sometimes it isn't your fault. I need some of you sisters to stop blaming yourself that you can't get pregnant. It's him. His semen don't even respond to your body. His vibration, he's not even strong enough to get you pregnant. Did you not? Did you, so, so you ain't know that you can vibrate so high as a woman. You can be so pure as a woman that a man won't even vibrate high enough to even get you pregnant. Your body won't even take your semen. Your body will spit that shit out. Huh? You blaming yourself? It's your ancestors or energies preventing it. If your ancestors don't like your partner, they'll close your womb or block up your portal or block up your yanni. You was a priestess in the last life. You was great in the last life. You're the most special woman in your family. You're the chosen woman of your family. You're better than your sisters. You're better than your cousins. You're better than everybody. And your ancestors will not allow, will not allow some random everyday Joe to come and get you pregnant. Because you're too sacred. You're a walking sacred ground. Your ancestors got to come through you. And they got to make sure whoever the man is, he got to be top of the line. He got to be a Christ figure. He got to have Malcolm X energy, Martin Luther King energy. Can't know any man get you pregnant. If your ancestors don't like him, your partner, the guy you're dating, they're going to close your womb and block up your portal so nothing can come through. Stop trying to force it. You're with the wrong person. All the shit you trying is not going to work. It'll work for your sisters. It'll work for your friends. But it's not going to work for you because you're too special. And what's happening to you, baby, what's going on with you right now, baby, is a spiritual thing. A child from a union like this would be a problem. It may even come out slow or deformed. You're not in love. What we're talking about is you sleeping with the wrong man. And you're trying to wonder why them kids came out like that. Huh? Because he put that baby in you and something was wrong with him and something was wrong with that baby. And he put it inside of you because you was fertile ground and you was, good, you was good ground. And now he gave you that baby and left you with that baby. And that baby is Mr. Goo Goo Gaga. It's Mr. Cuckoo Kaka. Boy, how old you is, boy? What's your name is? Devin, Mr. Cuckoo Kaka. What a baby. We don't need that alone. A child from this union would be a problem. You're not in love. You're blinded by the individual's light, and you're in a trap. See, he put you in a trap. He caught you slipping. You think you was in love. He thought you was in love. A few years from now, you're going to thank God you didn't get pregnant. None of the magic will work anyway. His ancestors are trying to bring you in and use you as a breeder and be a portal for his family. A few years from now, you're going to thank God that you didn't get pregnant for him. Y'all going to get divorced in a year and a half. Y'all going to get divorced in about three years. He going to start getting aggressive with you. You going to find out that he was cheating on you. Eventually, yeah, yeah, when the truth come out, you're going to thank God. Yeah, yeah, you're going to thank the ancestors that he didn't get you pregnant. Hmm? I talk to women all the time right now. I say, I'm so glad he didn't get me pregnant. I say, I don't know what type of, I don't know what type of, shit, I don't know where I'll be at right now if he had got me pregnant. I don't know what I was thinking. Watch this. None of the magic will work anyway. His ancestors are trying to bring you in and use you as a breeder. See, they're using you as a breeder. They needed a strong woman to come in because all the women in their family ain't shit. All the women in their family cursed. All the women in their family ain't got no souls. They need to go 